Vector component. Vector components are very important in physics and have the basic and it has two basic features that are apparent in the figure. One is that the components add together is equal to the original vector. That is vector R, which is a displacement from starting to finish is equal to vector x plus vector y. These two components indicates how the finish point is displaced relative to the starting point. That means x, vector x, or the x component represent the displacement of vector r at the horizon, while vector y or y component represent the displacement at vertical. Another picture of vector component is that x and y component are perpendicular vector. That means that the, tri that the trigonometric functions are applicable in analyzing vector. Any type of vector may be expressed in terms of its components. And they add vectorially to equal the original vector. Let's have an example. A displacement vector has a magnitude of 175 meter and points at an angle of 50 degrees relative to the x-axis. Find the x and y component of this vector. So we have given r which is equal to the magnitude 175 meter. And we are looking for the magnitude of x component and the magnitude of y component. As I have said, to solve for x and y component, we are using, we are going to use trigonometric function. Based on the figure, the right angle, a right triangle, 50 degrees, has an opposite side, which is the y component, and the adjacent side is the x component. To solve for x and y component, x component is equal to r cosine theta. We're in cosine theta as we have discussed earlier is equal to the, op, uh, the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Therefore, in the figure, in this problem, cosine theta is equal to x over r. Now, let's substitute the value of r and theta. We have x is equal to r is 175 meter times cosine 50 degrees. Therefore, x component is equal to 112.49 meter. We don't have to solve for the direction since it is x component. We know that it is directed or along the horizon. Now, to solve for y component, again, using trigonometric function, we can see that sine theta 
is equal to the opposite side, which is the y component over the hypotenuse r. And using the trigonometric function, y is equal to r sine theta. Let's substitute the value. So we have y is equal to 175 meter times sine 50 degrees. Therefore, y component is equal to 134.06 meter. Now, let's check your understanding. Our displacement vector is 23 kilometer in length and directed 65 degrees south of east. What are the components of this vector? Again, your answer must be, um, must be posted in the comment section of this video.